refraction lab. Today we did the refraction lab. It was on light refraction. The aim of our lab was to find the refractive index of perspex. Using perspex and a ray of light, we experimented with various angles of light and how large the angle of light was bent after passing through the per perspex block. We found that the angle of incidence, I, the angle pre-hitting the block, is always higher than the angle of refraction, R, the angle of light after passing through the block. The relationship between the two signs can be written as y equals m times x plus b. x is the sin of r and y is the sine of y. And m is the refractive index of the acrylic block. This is described in Snell's law. Steps for the lab were quite simple. First, you trace around the block and create a way, ray of light half ray, halfway along the block that would be our normal light. Next, you would penetrate the block with another ray of light in any way as long as the light went through the normal, and then trace the lines of the light. After that, you measure the angle of incidence, I, and the angle of refraction, R, and record the data in a table. Materials. We use five simple materials, a ray box, perspex box, protractor, computer to put in data, and a pencil to trace the light rays on the paper. Graph. As mentioned previously, you can see in our graph the relationship between sine i and sine r. Sine i over sine r is equal to the index, velocity of the light through the block, which is our slope. The slope of the graph is 1.3806, which is the refractive index of the block. Refractive index is the velocity in which light travels through the medium, in this case, the block.